Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have a super exciting review for you all. We are taking a look at a very much so anticipated Spinosaurus figure from GR Toys. This is their initial release, the Spinosaurus. We've kind of been getting images of it over the past few months, and I think there has been a lot of excitement leading up to this point where it finally has started to ship, and I definitely can tell you with complete confidence, I am extremely excited about this Spinosaurus figure. There's been kind of, it seems like a, a mad rush of different companies trying to get out the newer, more accurate looking version of Spinosaurus and I was wondering who exactly would be the one to get that first figure out well it appears now as though it is GR Toys there are quite a few others that will be coming out but you can see that we now have that newer look to the tail and everything and uh, definitely a really cool looking Spinosaurus figure here at first glance as far as this box goes I know Papo did kind of originally beat everyone but that was totally by accident I'm talking actually trying to sculpt this out like this on purpose the uh, GR Toys appears to be the first one to get one released, and I love the top of the box here as it shows a few different areas of progression in the way we've looked at Spinosaurus over the years. Really, really like the way that that looks. Very cool on the part of GR Toys to add that to the top of the box. But other than that, there's not really too much else to the box, actually. The uh, other side is this exact same image just flipped, so uh, both the boxes, as far as the two different variants, are exactly the same as well. So again, I'm really psyched to get this out of the box, so let's do that right now. So as soon as we get the box open, there's a really cool card that's included here that has some nice images of the Spinosaurus figures as well. Unfortunately, there's some information on it that I cannot read, but I bet it's very exciting and very interesting. I'm going to have to get someone to tell me what that says, because I would love to know what exactly it does say. But as far as the figures go, we have the brownish version right here as I knock over my backdrop with the Spinosaurus. And we also have the green version right here. And definitely two absolutely beautiful looking Spinosaurus figures here. I'm definitely really, really impressed immediately by these figures. I knew they were going to be really nice looking. All the images I had seen led me to believe just how beautiful these Spinosaurus figures would be, but man, they're really nice looking. Again, fresh out of the box right here. Really psyched to have these finally here to review, but definitely very impressed overall at first glance at these figures. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at both right now. So we will start with the green version, and you can see that up here on the head sculpt, it is really really nicely done as far as the detailing goes beautiful scale detail all over the head sculpt of the spinosaurus really nicely sculpted out nostril i love that kind of almost crocodilian type scaling we consistently see here on the snout of the spinosaurus looks really good here on this gr toys version beautiful detailing as we lead back the side of the face here under the eye socket you can see the eye area really is nicely sculpted as well beautifully painted eye with a yellowish coloration and a nice black pupil you can see lots of really beautiful paint applied to the face as well nice greens browns all sorts of different tones of color there's even a little bit of like a spotting effect down here on the lower jaw with a nice blackish coloration the jaw is of course articulated and the inside of the mouth is insanely nicely done. I can instantly say that as soon as I open the mouth, I notice that you can kind of see like veins and everything in there. And that is definitely something that you don't see very often from any company. As far as the inside of the mouth, they usually just give it kind of like a quick paint job of a certain color and then move on. But the inside of the mouth of this Spinosaurus has been painted in an extremely realistic fashion. Beautiful tones of color included as well get a nice shot there we go we can get a nice shot of the inside of the mouth from the front you can see that there's like a nice reddish wash as well that's been included to really bring the detail out in beautiful fashion if my camera could stay focused on it nicely sculpted out and painted tongue in there you could even see the throat way back in the back man that is insanely well done look at the detail even up on the top and again the different tones of color included in there super super realistic inside of the mouth of this spinosaurus that area straight away is extremely impressive you can also see all of the teeth of our spinosaurus are all painted really nicely they don't appear to be sloppy at all turn this really carefully so i don't smack the other spinosaurus down there with the tail but again yeah looking over here really beautifully painted teeth very nice and carefully overall i'm 
definitely impressed with the paint job already, but of course I'm impressed with the sculpt as well. The jaw actually articulates really nicely. You can see that that moves and pretty much can stay open at any distance you would like, so that's also a huge plus. Moving down here into the neck of the Spinosaurus, we start to see some ridges picking up on the top of the neck. You can also see a nice few rows of some scoots that run down the side of the neck and the upper part of the neck. Beautiful skin texturing down here on the side of the neck and some really nice paint. I love the dark variations of green that we have here because I always say that I really think Spinosaurus being a greenish coloration is a really nice natural look. It just would help it camouflage so well when it was fishing and things like that. So the green coloration is definitely a very nice coloration, I think, for a Spinosaurus. Very nice natural transition between the two colors as we move down here into the underside of the neck. The detailing here on the underside as well is phenomenal. Beautifully painted, a really nice dry brushing it seems like they've given it right there that brings that detail out perfectly. You can also see some black spots and stuff and just generally some alternate color variation throughout. Really nice uh, sculpting of the neck and the way that it kind of like twists and the way the skin would be reacting. That's really beautifully done as well. Moving down here into the body, you can pick up on the shoulder blade a little bit right there. Some more really beautiful skin texture. As we move down here into the arms, you can get a good sense of the musculature of the arm right there. Coming down into the hand of the Spinosaurus, you can see some nice scoots down the fingers of the Spino. Beautifully painted nails. I like that they've given like some variation to the color of the nails. It seems like they're painted with a black and then dry brushed over with maybe a brown and it definitely looks really nice, brings the detail out in the nails quite beautifully, and also genuinely makes them look a lot more realistic than just one solid color would have. And you can also see that we've got, of course, that big trademark Spinosaurus claw right there. Really nicely done. Beautiful detailing right here in the joint of the elbow as well, showing some of that skin kind of folding and bending. Coming back up here into the body, you can make out the rib cage a little bit there of the Spinosaurus. Some more really nice skin folds and everything going on down here. Really, really nice skin texture as well. You've got, of course, those scoots that continue to run down the length of the Spinosaurus. The sail looks absolutely gorgeous as far as both paint and sculpt. Really nice textured appearance to the sail. You can also see that it does include quite a few variations of color with some nice greens and then some black stripes that kind of litter the entire top of the sail as well as some nice darker and lighter browns within the middle and uh, the majority, I would say, of the sail looks really really nice very nice natural application of the paint as well it really does look like the body color of the animal and then moving back here we can see that those scoots continue up over the top of the hip bone some nice musculature in the thigh really nice skin kind of pulling off of the body right there as the leg is extending backward you can also see the beautifully defined calf muscle moving down into the foot back here. Really nice kind of dynamic pose for the positioning of the foot, but it is beautifully sculpted. Some more really nice scoots down the toes. Really nicely painted nails back here. Moving back up here into the tail now, you can see again the kind of skin bunching up there as this leg is pushing into that area. Really nice skin folding and everything going on. And the skin texture again looks incredible the whole way out. Look at how beautiful that looks. And I love how it transitions from this nice green to like a nice light brown. And that transition is insanely smooth between those two colors. The paintwork on this is just top notch. And they have a really beautiful design with this black that kind of litters the entire ending of the tail as we get to this much wider tail that we now see on Spinosaurus. And you can see some more of those nice ridges that run along the top of the tail and a beautiful curve to the tail as well. Really, really nice looking elegant curves to the tail. Absolutely love that. And then once we turn it around, we can again see how absolutely beautiful the head sculpt is on the Spinosaurus. Moving down into the neck, some more of those really nice kind of an armored type of an appearance to those scoots and the ridges that run along the spinal column. More really beautiful skin texture and fantastic paintwork over here in the neck as well. Once we come down into the body, you can again pick up on the shoulder blade a little bit right there. This arm is stretched out a little bit more so than the one that we had seen on the previous side. And you can get a little bit of a better look, I think, at the fingers on this side compared to what we had seen on the previous side. Some really nice scoots again down the fingernails. And then the claws look gorgeous as far as both sculpt and paint. Coming back up into the body, again, some more really nice skin texturing going on. 
The rib cage is present a little bit there. You can see the skin bunching up as this leg is pushing into the body in very realistic fashion. I love that they've also applied like some nice dark washes to the figure in certain areas and then dry brush certain areas out with like that light brown. It really brings all the detail out in picture perfect fashion. Again, the sail over here looks beautiful just like we had seen on the previous side. You can also see some of the skin stretching off of the body right there as this leg is pulling forward. You can see some very nice musculature displayed within the leg on this side. Some really nice almost like crocodilian like scales there in the thigh of the dinosaur and it transitions to a nice more fine scaling the further down the leg you go and then we have that really nice foot sculpt again and i love that the feet are actually webbed which is really cool definitely a very nice touch on the part of this spinosaurus that looks really really cool over here did not notice that actually on the previous side so it's nice to see that kind of webbing on the feet over here nicely painted nails on this foot also and then we come back up here into the tail and again it looks really nice as far as the skin texture goes paintwork as well looks really cool as we lead out the length of the tail the underside of the spinosaurus also looks really really good you have the cloaca present as well and then we get to the stomach region you can see it's a nice healthy looking spinosaurus again some fantastic scale detail here on the underside and quite a bit of paint variation you can even see like some browns creeping through like reddish browns and everything here on the underside so as far as the sculpt and paint on the greenish version it is phenomenal now looking at the if i don't smack them in the face again the brown version sculpt wise they are the exact same figure of course on this one we really only need to look at the differences which would be the paint and you can see lots of really nice variation of color on the face of this one as well it darkens the tip here of the snout to almost like a bluish coloration which is really really cool nice flashy color out there on the tip of the snout and you can also see some black spots picking up here and there i love the way these are painted the crest up here on the top of the head is kind of painted with a nice reddish brown which looks really nice as well opening the inside of the mouth the inside of the mouth is painted again picture perfect just like the last one really nice tones of color it's a little brighter i think on the inside of the mouth on this one than it was on the previous one so there is a little paint difference between this one compared to the previous version and both again look absolutely beautiful really nicely painted teeth on this version as well pretty much perfectly everything looks to be done so well as far as the paintwork there doesn't appear to be any sloppiness or anything to the figure and again the jaw works perfectly just like the previous version did it locks in place once the mouth shuts it locks in place so well and the hook in the jaw with these lower jaw teeth kind of just again matches up perfectly when you close the mouth nicely painted eye here with a nice yellowish coloration and a black pupil and then moving down here into the neck you can again see some more of that really nice coloration with like that reddish brown that we have sort of like what we have up here that stripes down along the neck very nice coloration here on the underside as well you can see like that brown kind of creeping through but it's been beautifully dry brushed with a nice light coloration like a khaki you can also see some more of that bluish coloration here throughout the neck which again it is just so striking the way they've painted this very nice coloration up here on the top actually as well you can see quite a few different variations of like lighter and darker colors kind of creeping through that armored area and then coming down here into the body you can see some nice designs going on with that reddish brown as well as the kind of light khaki type color creeping through on the underside it looks super super nice some more of that mixture of blue and browns right there you can also see some black showing up here within the arm and man look at how nice that is absolutely beautiful as far as the paintwork goes they've also painted the nails in similar fashion to the previous one where they've kind of dry brushed over top of the nails to bring out the detail really nicely but also just to give it some color variation making it look quite realistic you can also see some of the blue has run up here onto the sail on this version and these white stripes that come down are just like the flashiest but yet most natural looking thing i think i've ever seen that just looks so stinking cool it looks really really nice it almost looks like some tadpoles or something swimming away the way it uh, is designed on there but it just that white kind of creeping in was just a genius decision on the part of gr toys and i love the way it looks super super flashy but again very realistic and then you have like this orangish brown coloration that runs through right there and then it also darkens up here with a black and then leading out here into the rear leg again that reddish brown continues and then you also see some more of that black kind of spotting and stuff like we had seen on the arm up in the front very nicely painted nails back here as well 
and then moving out here into the tail the tail transitions once again to a more like a lighter coloration but you can also see a little bit of like that light blue sort of hiding throughout and then it darkens up here at the top of the tail and then has these nice kind of reddish brown designs as we move out the length of the tail looking at the opposing side again that is just unbelievably nice as far as the paintwork goes of course the sculpt work as well but the paintwork on this one is just top notch nice stripes down the neck again it looks pretty much the same as what we had seen on the previous side but that means it looks absolutely beautiful on this side as well I love the way they kind of like spot and stripe through the arms and then it darkens as we get into the hands very nice uh, transitioning as far as the colors as well again all of the paintwork on these figures just looks so smooth and so 100 percent realistic these figures are unbelievably impressive when it comes to both sculpt and paint and all of the paint again just looks so insanely natural and just perfectly done probably one of the best painted dinosaur figures that i've ever seen as far as like this price point this style of figure the paintwork is just off the charts and you can see how flashy that tail looks again with that reddish brown that kind of litters the tail and then transitions back and forth between that lighter coloration and then that black outlining of the top of the tail it all just looks insanely insanely nice and then the underside as well just sports quite a few different tones of color but man, I am so psyched about these Spinosaurus figures. Both are just absolute works of art. Now for a length on our Spinosaurus, bring this guy up a little bit. From the jaw, the tip of the snout actually, to the tail, you are going to see it come in at about 15, actually almost 15 and 3 quarter inches. So closing in on 16 inches or around 40 centimeters in length that is very long definitely a pretty sizable figure for a height to the top of the sail you are looking at about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters and to the top of the head about four and a quarter inches or around 10 and a half 11 centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon next to these gr toys spinosaurus figures and next to these figures here you should have a pretty good idea that these spinos are really really nicely sized definitely sporting some impressive size overall especially in the length department but again hopefully these figures will give you a good idea of the size if the actual measurements didn't help i wanted to get more spinosaurus figures for a comparison but unfortunately the majority of my spinosaurus figures especially ones like the papo version and pnso which i'm sure people would like to see comparisons with they're all unfortunately in storage right now i can't get a hold of them until i can actually clear some of it out but i can definitely say that these are really really nicely sized and i will attempt to get those comparisons for you guys in the very near future and post them to the community section or instagram so as far as these gr toys spinosaurus figures go both are 1000 percent wins and have impressed me more than i ever thought they would the sculpt on both it's just so insanely nice two of the nicest sculpted spinosaurus figures that i have ever seen in my entire life the detail on these is just so nicely done and so vibrant i guess you could say like the detail is really nicely displayed on the figures it doesn't seem muted out in any way shape or form there is just a ton of sculpt and detail to be found on these figures and it is beautifully on display in every area of these spinosaurus figures they've done a really good job of sculpting out the fine details as well like skin folding skin wrinkling skin stretching in areas that it should be i think they have done a phenomenal job in every aspect of the sculpt and i love the little things that they've added in like the webbed toes such a really cool touch on something that would be swimming a lot you would probably think it would have webbed feet so that was a really cool touch on the part of gr toys the painting of both is really really nice as well again i've always stated that i'm a huge fan of green spinosaurus so the green spinosaurus looks really really nice and natural to me and definitely the type of coloration i would expect to see on a spinosaurus if i had the ability to see one in real life because again it's a very realistic coloration to camouflage within its background if it were fishing and stuff like that so that the fish did not notice it i feel like green is a great choice as far as what a spinosaurus would use to camouflage but the brownish version as well is just so insanely flashy and at the same time could potentially be another coloration that would work really well as far as kind of camouflaging and hiding from fish because i feel like brown is also a pretty natural tone of color for a spinosaurus but they've done a great job of adding in like alternate colors to just make it look a little bit flashier with the nice blues and then that beautiful striping down the sail 
Again, both of these, as far as the paintwork goes, the paint schemes on both are fantastic, but the actual paint application of both is also fantastic. They've done a tremendous job in adding in many different tones of color and just applying it in an extremely realistic way so that it genuinely looks like the body color of both and honestly looks like it would be the coloration of Spinosaurus. They've almost convinced me that this is probably what Spinosaurus looked like and now I think if I saw one and it didn't look like these, I might be a little disappointed. But they've added in so many different tones of color, again, making them just genuinely look 100% realistic. And on top of all of that, they do have very nicely articulated jaws that work perfectly. And another of the most impressive areas, I think, as far as I'm concerned with these figures, is the inside of the mouth and how much care has gone into the inside of the mouth as far as the paintwork goes. Something that most companies just kind of skip out on but GR Toys has not. They have done a tremendous job in literally every area of these figures to make them as beautiful and as realistic as possible. So GR Toys definitely gets a lot of respect from me, and they pretty much deserve a round of applause for both of these Spinosaurus figures. If you would like to pick these up, and trust me, if you are a dinosaur fan or specifically a fan of Spinosaurus, you probably need these in your collection, or at least one of the two. I will include a link in the description to Dan's Dinosaurs, where you can purchase either or both of these right now. Definitely pick these up if you are interested, because again, there's never going to be a chance in a million years that you would regret these buys. They are such beautiful Spinosaurus figures. So make sure you head to the description after the review is over. I will have a link there to Dan's Dinosaurs, where you can purchase these Spinosaurus figures from GR Toys. And make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.